My contents for 13 and upwards. Don't collect another product. So we're gonna be doing some big huntings today. We're gonna to try to find, obtain something. So we are at our first stop, which is Toys R Us. We're gonna go see what's inside, so let's go. Still have the, still have the space trying single, huh? Still couldn't get rid of them, huh? 13. Uh, 13. It's 11 on the website. Got Zeal Nidhogg. Ferris Achilles, okay, okay, okay. Uh, same, uh, Excalius uh, launch. Hey, maybe, we do, maybe, maybe we do something uh, with this for a future video. What, what else? Uh, well, we got to the. Ferris Bazellus. No, we got the starters there. Oh, we have Chain Curbeus. Yeah, this one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh, Ferris Bazellus, no chain. Huh? Hold on. Look at that. Alright. So this is... And they got Vanish, yeah, no one wants uh, Vanish. Got some of the other, uh, yeah, they got basically all the two packs. Uh, Pro Series, which we, oh, the Tack the Knockout Wave. Yeah, this is okay, okay, yeah. Oh, now hold on. Oof. Uh, Pand, uh, uh, don't buy Pro Series in Canada. Uh, they want you to say, yeah, this doesn't make any sense, okay, No, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, so they got, uh, like, a, the Pro Series $42.99. They got $44.99 for the Cyclone Fury. Yeah. $94.99. The Thunder Edge is not here. Look at this one. $140. <laughs> okay. So, uh, alright, well, we're gonna continue on uh, to the next stop. Alrighty, let's uh, take a look here. Zeal, Achilles. Oh, they got all four of them. They got Zeal, Achilles, Missing one. Hydra Poseidon, Hydra Poseidon, Chain Curbeus, Ambush Basilisk, uh, Excalius Launcher Set. Well, it's cheaper online. 2797. Yeah, cheaper online. And they got Speed Storm singles. Mm. Is there anything else? No. Alright, All right, we're gonna go to our last uh, stop to see if we can find anything. Stop at the Toys R Us, let's go see. Yeah. Mythic Beast 3 pack, they got the Motor Strike 99. Oh, they got some of the old quad drive stuff. Uh, Pro Series Battle Set. What else they got? Probably Bloody, a lot of Cyclone Fury. Interstellar Draw. Mm hmm. Let's go to the main aisle.
more Cyclone Fury, just a lot of the sets, Interstellar Drop, Nebula, so no, nothing. Well, so what are we gonna do? So, we're gonna have to talk uh, to Quadra and we're gonna have to, you know, sort something uh, out at uh, the back she, of the store. She can help us? Yeah, I think she can. The stairs? Uh, or where else? Who knows? Yeah, maybe the back of the store, maybe we're gonna find the warehouse, we're gonna find uh, something, we're gonna obtain a, a bay. After we finally talked to Quadra, uh, we did a deal. We're now behind uh, the Quad Strike Factory itself, and we have attained the energy uprising four pack mm -hmm. and it's time to quad strike for this video we're going to be taking a look at the quad strike energy uprising four pack now make sure to leave a comment if you are new here and subscribe to the channel essentially uh what they did here is they made a four pack where you can get all four of the pandoras in one go that is if you do not want to purchase, what is it? A battle set, a two pack, a single and a starter, which that can probably will be like some insane amount. Like that's like a lot of money just to spend. So obviously if you would want to just get it a little bit of a cheaper route, assuming Hasbro doesn't just like put some crazy price. Uh, yeah, this would probably be uh, the four pack uh, to go with. So obviously in the animation, uh, Quadra, going to have Pandora and there's lightning, wind, water and fire. All four of the elements. We already did all the reviews separate but this video what I'm going to be doing as the opportunity is basically just giving an overview on all the Pandoras. Um, I, mean, I mean right off the bat we can just say if it's worth it or not. Uh, I would say if you are in the comp sense uh, the, there's other stuff that's more offered there than the other Pandoras. If you're Hasbro only you're just for casual sense then if you don't want to go through all the hassle to get all that then yeah, if you're just a pure anime, you just like the animation and collecting, you don't really care about the performance, then yeah, maybe this would also make uh, sense. So either way, I think it would make sense other than I guess if you just want a pure comp. If you want it for pure competitive, then probably not. So basically this is what the back looks like. I think this is a very smart idea to do because now I don't have to, now most people wouldn't have to go through the trouble just to get all of the, them. Instructions. They just show the stats, how they explain it on there. So you have all the Pandoras here set up. You can see Flame, Twister, Lightning, Tidal, all of them. This is the easier way to get it. So we're gonna cut to when we have all the stuff already open and taken care of. So now we have all of the Pandoras now set up and out of the packaging, our discs, our drivers, performance tips, all of it. So. What we're going to be doing is basically I'll just go over all of the chips, all of the armors, all that stuff, uh, and then after uh, we'll move from there. We have uh, part by part, so we have Pandora Endless, Pandora Evasive, Pandora Epic, and Pandora Everlasting. It's always with the uh, E's. So, different Pandora cores, you're going to notice that the painting on the eyes will vary depending on which one that it is. Uh, I don't know, maybe means something uh, in the animation. In terms of the general detailing on each of the cores, they have kind of... Actually, no, they're all a little bit different. They're all painted slightly differently. Actually, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, either way, though, uh, for Hasbro design, you don't see, like, too, too much out of all of them. They all just kind of got painted with, like, an S kind of shape to them. As far as slopes go, uh, all of them have more or less uh, the exact same slope. They're just uh, kind of average, I would say. Some of them have tighter driver springs to compensate for that. Otherwise, there are better quad strike uh, chips that are tighter than this. You have lightning, wind, water, fire. Now, the thing is, they don't call it that. They have the <laughs> lightning, twister, tidal, and flame. These two are the good ones. These two are the bad ones. Twister and lightning are good for stamina use, I would say. Defense, very debatable because of how hauled they are, but stamina use. Uh, they still lag a bit under Gambit and lag a lot behind Whirl. So not the best for stamina, but uh, just okay, just below those. Tidal and Flame. Tidal is poor in everything, same in here, just poor for everything. Sucks at attack. Here it's, it's mediocre at everything, can't really do anything uh, right. So really, out of the Pandora elements, the best one is lightning and wind. 
That means that in the animation, I better see Quadra just mostly spam lightning and wind the entire time. And for your gravity ring selection, does not matter because they're not metal. I'm just I'm pretty sure that the worst one out of them is, is lightning's armor. Pretty sure it's really light. Uh, otherwise, uh, we just move on there. In terms of disc selection, the worst one is Flame. Aqualon is just bad for all around use. Uh, the base of Nexus would have been nice because it is compatible with TT's S gear and D gear, but Hasbro never did any gears, so it's not really that useful to mention if you're Hasbro only. Uh, then after, what is this, QQ? Uh, it's just a worse tapered overall. I think the best one is actually Lightning's disc, which is a TQ. Stamina is okay, best used for attack, I would say. That's probably the best use you can get out of it. Otherwise, this collection is just kind of okay. Then for your base performance tips, all of them really aren't that special. Uh, Fusion really isn't that good. Edge is terrible, obviously. Just uh, is kind of maybe at best okay, kind of same spin, but eh. Uh, this is useful for attack, jolt, so out of all of them, Flame definitely has the, base, the best base performance tip, uh, but none of them are too, too special in that regard. And then after for your armor tip selection, uh, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So obviously in general, none of them are good, uh, but in purely just the stadium, uh, the attachments that are on title and on flame have some aggressive movement, and that's gonna do a lot better than uh, whatever this is that was originally on Nidhogg and the base of this, which is just uh, not good at all. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, I think I like Lightning and Twister uh, probably the most, but uh, we're gonna get out the scale here quickly. 4.52, 4.55, 4.43, 4.6, 6.67, 7 grams, 7 7.42, 1.51, 1.42, 1.72, 1.67, 24.46, 24.63, 25.61, 24.7, 5.78, 5.56, 5.83, 5.29, 3 3.73, 3.91, 4.07, 47.23, 47.27, 48.16, 46.81. So here we have fire and water here. I definitely think, at least visually, I like flame the most. Then after you have lightning and wind, uh, I don't know, between these two, I guess maybe lightning, I think is more visually uh, appealing. But uh, these are the, yeah, but these are the Pandoras. These are all of them. 39.95 is the, US probably. probably, yeah. Well, uh, for the value of that, uh, you know, for collectors, uh, you can probably make some, uh, you know, reason. Uh, anyways, we're gonna be trying this out in the Thunder Edge Stadium, then the Light Ignite Stadium to see how they look. And then after, uh, we'll eventually have future videos, uh, I don't know, battling with them. Lightning Pandora, let's start us off nice. Think they're all right spin. What if like, I don't know, someone tells me this is like a good idea or not. What if like half of them were right and half of them were left? You don't have to have a dual spin one, but it would have been cool. But I, 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 I like the idea of that, that like, that, that would have been kind of interesting. Flame. Twister. Also, just because like we're already gonna make them battle each other in the other stadium, I thought so. Whirl, Twister. Yeah, but uh, you know, honestly, after the four Pandoras, uh, the way to judge them is kind of hard because I think normally I, I I'm not really a big a fan of some of the color choices because a lot of them were kind of well, I mean, basically just everything that wasn't lightning was considered for the Light Ignite Stadium which is, is, is cool, right? But then after, when you think about it it, it, it becomes very limiting. So what I mean by this, what, what do I mean by very limiting? I'll explain, I'll explain. What I mean by this is the idea that you have to pick very specific colors just for it to work. And if someone's never gonna get that stadium or never wanna battle with uh, you know, black lights slash UV lights, then a uh, you know, uh, lot of them kinda, kinda stink for how they look and I, I think it's fair to say. Thank you. 
I just got Helios here. Which normally I would just do a full test launch, but then after I thought, nah, this just throw them in a battle because we've already used them before. And yeah, that's that's kind of it. I'm probably gonna have the section where I show the QR codes uh, post stadium. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get all of the Pandoras. We're gonna see how they look like in the stadium. Okay. Whoa. Some are a lot better than others. Your weakest is definitely a uh, lightning Pandora, but the other, I guess because it was wave two onwards they did, so you can definitely see the difference on here. Wow, that looks really cool. So I say we try to make it work out. So I'm saying we just throw it up random on the matches. We got title versus, we got water versus fire. Water versus fire right now. Who takes it? Alrighty, because I do have to show off the other one. So obviously we have lightning and then after we have uh, wind. Only disappointed that uh, lightning Pandora doesn't have much going for it. Because like Twister looks really cool. So, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll still try obviously some matches. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I definitely wish there was a little bit more going on there. Oh yeah, we got all of them in the lights. Yeah, it probably would go to the, to the last one. That would make some sense. Is Twister. That is others. Look at that. That is awesome, dude. Oh man. Sick. Flame QR code. Title QR code. Lightning QR code. Twister QR code. So already final thoughts. Is this worth getting? Now in terms of competitive, you basically have two out of the four Pandoras that are actually uh, useful if you are Hasbro only. Uh, otherwise, you know, there are better options like Gambit and Whirl for stamina. Uh, in general, uh, you know, just uh, for the fun of it in the casual sense, uh, you got maybe like two armor tips that I guess kind of work in that stadium uh, for the what they're probably going to be signing this for. I think it's probably, I mean, it makes sense, right? If you want to get all four and you don't want to go through the hassle, then obviously, yeah, it does make a lot of sense. Uh, otherwise, it's either a skip or it is a not a skip, depending on uh, how you want to value this. But I say it is a good idea. I think honestly, they should have just done this. Actually, no, I, I don't know. Actually, I, maybe they should have done this originally. And that's what I'm trying to lean towards. But yeah, if you want to check out our other channel where we have done all the competitive testings for all four of them, you can go check it out. As well, we have our store, which is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any support regardless, where we have B slash BU products. You can scan the QR code to get to our shop. And uh, we're gonna be wrapping up now, so make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.